Welcome back to Sale of the Century. Uh, this is the second round. Before we get into it, though, Ugly Phil and Tracy, your viewers' names are on the screen at the moment. That's who you're playing for. Goody. And yours is really happy, Tracy, because it's in the lead at the moment. Okay. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here we go. First question for the round. What was the call sign of the Cincinnati radio station setting? WKRP in Cincinnati. Uh, sorry, that's right, Ugly Phil, yes. For a US sitcom uh, co-starring Lonnie Anderson. $15 has been added to the fame game board. Who am I? Born in 1914 and dying in 1991, I graduated in law from the University of Sydney and after serving in the army during World War II, became an, an advisor to Australia's United Nations delegation. A QC and judge in the Commonwealth Industrial Court, I sat on the Supreme Courts of the ACT and the Northern Territory before my appointment as Chief Justice of the New South Wales Supreme Court. In 1974, I was offered by Prime Minister Gough Whitlam the post of Governor General, but the following year, our relationship soured when I dismissed his government. A following ugly film. Oh, I just couldn't, I couldn't stand it any longer. How dumb are these guys? Sir John Kerr. <laughs> <laughs> Sir John Kerr was the answer we needed. Well done, Phil. So who would you like from the Famous Faces? You can see there's no brains in radio, can't you? <laughs> I think I'll take the home viewer. Emily Paterna, here she goes. Ugly, your viewer can keep the little ones safe and entertained with these baby safety products and jumbo stick-ups. Valued at $461 from Safety First. Another good prize for the viewer. Tracy's still on the lead on 30 as we continue. Recently turned into a stage musical was which long-running Australian TV music show? Ugly Phil. Oh, for God's sake, countdown. Yes, <laughs> fast money, 30 seconds up on the clock. And your time starts now. Once King of Melbourne Radio was Darren who? Dave. Inch. Yes, uh, by what other name do we know the game? Tic-tac-toe. Fiona. Gods and Crosses. Yes, a New Zealand film is Once Were Watts. Fiona. Warriors. Yes, uh, which animal is known colloquially as a moggy? Fiona. Moggy bird. Cats. In area, what is the largest country of the United Kingdom? David. Britain. Britain. England. Uh, which supermodel appeared in the Australian film si Fiona? Cyrus L. McPherson. Yes, uh, Celine Dion had the hit song My Heart Will uh, Go On. That's right. How many E's are in the word maintenance? Two, the answer there. And well played, Fiona. Well done. You're in the lead. You're on $40. You're 10 ahead of Tracy, 15 Ugly Phil, and 20 David. So you have the opportunity to buy here with Nikki. That's right. Well, there's nothing like a good old gossip over a cup of tea, right, fellas? Oh, right oh, yes, yes. Right. yes, indeed. Well, your home viewer could sip in style with this four-piece silver-plated Rover tea or coffee set. It includes the teapot, coffee pot, a milk jug and a delightful sugar bowl. All pieces feature an elegant classic design and come with this generous silver-plated tray. It's normally $1,825. Tonight, a bargain at only $9 from White Hill Silver and Sale of the Century. And it's nice to have Bruce and Phil from 3AW with us once again, gentlemen. This is how you'd normally have your cups of tea. Oh, yes. Well, Bruce Good night. likes English breakfast. He's just back from the BBC, Glenn. Yes, 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 back from the old dart. What did you call me? Fiona, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would you like to buy here? We're running out of time. Nine dollars. You um, can buy the setting. It looks divine, but I think I'll hang on to my narrow lead for the moment. Mine and my home viewer's narrow lead. I think my home viewer would want me to You're do still that. You're still being in the lead. No, fair enough. Oh, you don't want to buy. So you don't have to that buy. That was a lucky thing. What no happened sale. then? I'm going to hang on. <laughs> no sale. All right, Fiona. That's fine. So, not deciding to buy there. But uh, we do have a viewer's question. Uh, the second one for tonight. By what three letters? do we know ABC's National Youth Radio Network? If you... Sorry, Tracy, it's not for you. <laughs> if you didn't know the answer at home, ring this number. Bedlam has hit. We'll have a break and we'll be back shortly with round three.